Sunday, August 13th, 2023. All the street cats were fed and accounted for today, despite all the chaos that went on around us as we participated in our daily ritual. There were loose dogs, small and medium-sized ones, shady characters walking by, checking me out and seeing what I was doing, and loud bangs, bangs easily distinguishable from firecracker bangs. These loud shots were rare, even in this neighborhood, and they came after I was done with my regular feeding. There might be something on the news about it, especially if they were directed at someone or hit someone. Most of the loose dogs came right after I was done finished feeding. I've learned in life that most bad people are actually cowards, and it seems like they wait until I go inside to send out the dogs. When I went to dump the trash right when I was finished feeding the colony, there was some street person basically harassing little Meow Meow Kitty. She was running from him towards me in the apartments. So I shouted out to the shady character from the third floor balcony. Hey, buddy, you're being watched. You're on candid camera. I knew from my vantage point right behind the parking lot's bright light that the guy could not see me from the street, but I could see him. Today was a salmon Sunday where I bring about five cans of canned salmon to go with my kibble and pate. Wild caught salmon and water, of course, is every cat's favorite food. Not every street cat got a bite of salmon, so I also bring a few cans of tuna for the hesitant cats not quick enough to eat the salmon. There's always a bunch of juice left in each of the salmon and tuna cans, and each can gets a particular kitty that will lick it clean. I always pick up my mess and my empty cat food cans, but I usually leave the salmon and tuna cans and the cats just love them so much. It's important to bring the street cats fresh water every day, especially this time of year, and also something to clean their water bowls with. I've noticed used whipped cream containers work best as water bowls because every nice water bowl I've had has been stolen. That's the kind of neighborhood I live in. The smartest cats make sure to drink a good amount of water during the feeding while it's clean. They know they have a long while to go with no food or water, but they're used to it. They're cats. Cats are the most cunning and resilient animals on earth. I said it before and I'll say it again. Never right. underestimate a cat. After I was done with my regular feeding, I took about a 20 minute nap before going down the street through the construction feeding PK. I was a little late and I saw the little tortie nervously pacing, not knowing if I was going to show up. PK knows if she doesn't get a meal from me, then she has a long wait before she gets another one, probably days. I try to feed her at least once during the weekdays, but her current situation, it's even more difficult than the regular colony kitties. My next goal is to get Meowie Yowie fixed. Meowie Yowie showed up about a month ago, crying his little orange head off. He was meowing so loud, especially the first couple days. After about a month and Meowie Meowie learned the ropes, he basically stopped meowing. The other street cats would look at him like, hey, dude, chill out. We don't do that around here. I've tried to pet Meowie Meowie a few times, and he slowly has let me get closer to him. And even though I've never actually pet him, there's been a few times while I'm feeding that I glance over at him and I catch Meowie Yowie looking at me very lovingly and graciously. Part of him is surprised I do this every day, but mostly he is just happy, so darn happy to have something to look forward to every morning. Most of these homeless cats, these abandoned cats on this island, don't have someone like me bringing them canned salmon every day. But most importantly, these street cats that I feed, they know someone out there cares whether they live or die. They know someone out there is, is worried about them. They are not completely forgotten about. They may have been abandoned, but they're still loved. And I am Gregory Brandt, and I'm a legend of those street cats. Aloha.